Hello and welcome to the Caravan Channel. I'm Alistair Clements and throughout the summer I'm going to be bringing you a series of very special episodes which we've rather imaginatively titled Summer Specials. Each of our summer specials will feature a review of a new van along with some of our favourite reviews, tow cars, advice and inspiring travel ideas from the past 12 months. Now in the first of these summer specials we're looking at touring on a budget. With that in mind, here's what's coming up in the show. I'll be checking out a new Explore 504, then finding out what kind of affordable options are available if you fancy a bit of freedom, a touch of luxury, or room for a family. Nigel Donnelly sets out to find out whether he can tour Ireland in a bargain outfit costing less than £1,500. And our in-house expert, John Wickersham, talks us through the pleasures and pitfalls of buying a pre-owned van. Once upon a time, buying a cheap caravan meant foregoing many of the comforts enjoyed by more well-heeled tourers. But luckily, times have changed. Competition in the affordable sector has never been stronger, and that's great news if you're in search of a bargain. Take this Explore 504. When you're going up against the likes of the Sprite and Venus ranges and Bailey's Pursuit, the Explorer Group's entry-level range had to be pretty good. Luckily, it's a belter. The looks are a little plain, but I quite like those rakish windows and the neat decals. Plus it's got a great spec list, and even at less than 15 grand, this van features the same solid construction as used by the Buccaneer, which costs more than twice as much. The electric hookup is in the battery box here on the near side, so you'll have to tuck the cable away to avoid it being a trip hazard in your awning. But the rest of the services and the all-important toilet cassette hatch are on the offside. I like that the corner steady winders have guide holes cut into the side skirting too, and even fully laden, the Explore 504 weighs just 1,300 kilos, so manhandling it onto your pitch is pretty straightforward. Now this Alco AKS hitch stabilizer is a giveaway that this van has been fitted with the optional SE pack. It costs £379, but we can't really see any Explores coming out the factory without one fitted, because it's fantastic value. It also adds alloy wheels, a steel spare wheel and carrier, a secure wheel lock receiver, and inside, a CD MP3 player. The Explorer is a seven model range, but if you're the kind of couple that doesn't particularly like having to make up a double bed each night, then the 504 is your only real option. It's a fixed French bed model with an end washroom and a central kitchen. Up front here, this lounge feels far more spacious than it has any right to, largely thanks to the sensible decision of leaving out the front chest. And at night, if you pull the slats out from beneath, it makes up a generous six foot six double bed. For a four berth band, the 504 is relatively compact, but it never feels cramped, largely thanks to this lovely open plan layout. It also never feels cheap. I mean, yes, there is a three burner hob. Yes, there's a combined oven and grill, but it feels really spacious in here. There's a large fridge, lots of worktop, plenty of storage. There's even a little slide out shelf should you need a little bit of extra food preparation area. On the other side, there's an excellent sideboard with cupboards top and bottom, a trio of drawers, and one of two dedicated television points in this van, along with the controls for the whale, water, and blown air space heating. My only criticisms are that there's no vent above me, and that the table, which could have stored in this neat cupboard here, is right back there in the bedroom, although you can't argue with the installation. Hidden away beneath the mirror, and held in place by a small hook. This screen is further evidence that the Explorer Group doesn't want you to think you're in a cheap van. You can pull it right the way across to separate the master suite from the front of the van. And a master suite it is. This fixed bed is six foot three inches long. It's also fantastically comfortable. This Ozio mattress is great. There are individual reading lights and there's even a small shelf for the cocoa, but only one, so you'll have to fight over that. Underneath the bed, there's all the space you could hope for to test the van's healthy 178 kilo payload, although do remember not to load it unevenly when you're on tow. And opposite, there's a generous wardrobe and yet another socket, one of six we found in this van. And now let's take a look at the washroom. At first glance it seems pretty basic, but come round the corner and you'll spot the shower cubicle. It's huge and fully lined too, a real selling point if you're the sort of caravaner who prefers not to use on-site facilities. There's a small towel rail and a blown air heating outlet, but sadly the only natural light comes from a single roof vent. I love the bright, cheery feel in here. Throw in the low weights, the low price and the spacious accommodation. 
and this is a great van for fixed bed fans on a budget. But I think what I like best about this Explore is the fact that you don't feel like you're buying a budget van at all. But what about those affordable rivals we were talking about earlier? Well, in a minute, we'll check out a Venus that shares this Explore's layout. And after that, we'll take a look at two vans from the opposite end of the affordable spectrum that we saw at the NEC earlier this year. Venus has only been a separate brand since 2012, but the name's been in the Luna family for over 45 years. To celebrate, the entire range has been given a makeover for the 2015 season. There are five new models in the range. Amongst the most popular is likely to be this, the 544, a fixed double bed with full width and washroom. The facelift is far from just a few new graphics. It's still a boxy shape, but it has revised front and rear panels. Plus, there is a large one-piece front window and the designers have made a real effort with the dove grey highlights. The 2015 Venus really doesn't feel like an entry-level van, with a modern finish that continues the dove grey theme. The lounge is comfy and spacious, and I love these deeply sprung sofas, which turn into a good-sized double using these slats. Now, I'm fine in here, but other taller members of the team have pointed out that the six-foot, three-inch headroom is a little tight. Otherwise, it feels very spacious and classy. There are reminders, however, that you are in an entry-level van with a three-ring gas hob and the combined oven and grill. There's a good amount of storage space and plenty of food preparation space, though a flat might have been better than this fixed worktop, which sticks out into the lounge. On the other side is that optional microwave, which sits at a good height and has a handy storage cupboard above and a sideboard underneath. To the right, you'll find the new Venus branded main control panel, along with the controls for the Truma's Combi 2E blown air heating system. The bed is large and comfy and there's a handy cutaway corner. Each person gets a reading light and shelf each and there's also some storage under the bed. Though unfortunately, it can't be accessed from the outside. The bathroom isn't huge, but the space has been used efficiently. There's a great size shower, though I would have preferred to see the walls fully lined. The contemporary feel continues with domestic style bowl sink with a useful cabinet beneath. The budget market is getting tougher and tougher with the Venus up against the likes of the Bailey Pursuit, the Sprite by Swift and the Eldest Explore. But at just 1,295 kilograms, the Venus could be towed by most small family cars. Plenty of manufacturers over the years have tried to create a trailer that bridges the gap between the tent and the traditional caravan as we know it, in search of those younger buyers that will keep our hobby alive into the future. And the latest addition to the market is this. It's the Mogo Freedom, and its makers claim that it revised the principles of the original Sprite by combining a lightweight and a low price. Now, that's an ambitious claim, but they've certainly got the lightweight bit sorted. This thing weighs in at just 350 kilos, or 750 kilos laden, so it can be towed by pretty much anything that'll wear a tow bar. And it'll fit inside your garage, too. The Mogo follows the principles of legendary architect Mies van der Rohe. Less truly is more in here. The basic model is simply a double bed in a balsa wood box. But if you flip up the sides and zip in an awning, you can double or even triple the size of the van. The basic Mogo, or Mo, costs a little over £7,000. But from there, the world is your oyster. You can have it wrapped in the colour of your choice and you can fill it with all sorts of innovative space-saving accessories. To find out a little bit more about them, we're going to talk to Mogo founder Taj Korosek. Taj, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me a little bit more about this fascinating contraption behind us? Grubhub is a kitchen with a sink, drying unit, space to go cook, working space, a kitchen roll that is protected uh, from rain, enough space for kitchen utilities, light, and all your um, cooking utensils. And are there, are there any other special accessories that you've designed just for the Mogo? Uh, Mogo comes with lithium battery that holds 10 amp hours um, of power that will be sufficient for eight hours of TV, about 15 charges of iPhone or iPads. Um, it's powered with a crystalline uh, power, uh, solar power. And what about inside the van? I understand that you encourage outdoor active people to buy these Mogos. Yes, Mogo is designed for people who want to be outdoors and do things outdoors and not spend time in setting up kitchens, setting up power, 
cooking up or putting things on in place. Just go out and enjoy it. What, what was your inspiration for the whole caravan? The Mogo came about from austerity. Um, we had to downsize, our cars became smaller, and we had to get into a, a very small Honda Jazz that couldn't tow a big caravan anymore. If you take every option on the Mogo price list, it'll set you back nearly 13,000 quid, and that's getting dangerously close to the price of a full-size caravan. But this mid-spec free model is 10,590, and it has pretty much everything you could need for an adventurous weekend away. If you've had enough of leaky tents, this could be just the dose of luxury you're looking for. The caravan market is dominated by couples, and today the most popular layout for them is the transverse island bed. It's easy to see why. It means you can leave your bed made up all day and still have the lounge to use for your meals and to play games or to relax. Until now though, the iconic Swift brand hasn't offered that particular layout. There's a pretty good reason. The transverse island bed tends to be associated with luxury models and Sprite is the Swift Group's entry level brand. But there's a dead giveaway on this van. That big expanse of wall with no windows suggests we're probably gonna find one inside. It's called the Sprite Major 4 SB. And there's a bit of a clue in the name. SB means sliding bed, which means during the day, we have plenty of space to walk around the side of it. And at night, you simply slide it out and you get a decent length bed, which is a great help if, like me, you're not exactly small of stature. It's a pretty desirable feature in a van that costs from as little as 14 and a half thousand pounds. If we just pop this back, we can move around and show you the other desirable feature in this van, which is the end washroom. For a budget van, it's pretty roomy, and there's a good amount of storage with this deep shelf and a cupboard here. The shower cubicle too is a good size, though we'd have liked it to have been fully lined. This living space works really well as well. It's not great if you want to use these bunks as singles because they're pretty short, but they make a decent sized double and it's a comfortable lounge area. There's a place to park your telly here with aerial sockets and another in the bedroom. This van is also fitted with some really useful options. I love this panoramic sunroof. It gives us lots of light and it's 335 quid. Perhaps more importantly than that is this Darwin trim which has been introduced for this year. Now I've never been a great fan of the standard trim in a Sprite which is a bit chocolate brown but this trim only costs 145 quid and it really lifts the interior. The kitchen's a decent size and there's a lift up flat to give you more preparation space. And there are plenty of other optional bits such as the microwave which comes as part of the diamond pack. Even with all of those options, this particular Sprite costs just over 15 and a half thousand quid. Now that is a really compelling argument. If I was in the market for a transverse island bed model, I don't think I'd be looking much further. Isn't it fantastic to see such a great range of tours available, even if you're on a tight budget? We'll be taking a look at another one in a few minutes, but for now we're going to take a short break. When you come back, we'll bring you a shoestring tour of Ireland and some great advice on buying a used tourer. Don't go away now. <laughs> 